umbrella, more in-depth plant care. Take one. The Latin is a Schefflera actinophila. This soil. She likes it quite dry. Like this one can handle direct sun. So if you do have a spot that's getting you direct sun, she'll be very happy in that. Obviously, if it was very long periods and we had a heat wave like we did last year, she wouldn't like that. So that's something to be conscious of. She can handle the direct sun, but doesn't want to sit in it and bake. Misting. She loves a misting, she loves it. She's from like quite a humid environment. I believe somewhere in Asia she originates. And it's a very humid, moist environment. So misting will really help with that. So you do that, you know, you can do it as much as you want really, but not too much where she's constantly soggy soil. But a misting with warm water is better. Repotting. She can be left for about three years, two to three years in a pot unless all the roots are coming out the bottom. Once all the, air, all the air roots are coming out the bottom of the holes and the drainage holes under the pot, it's ready to be repotted. And you only do that in spring, summer, so you know, March to August time. I think better to do it earlier on in like spring time. So what you would do is you take it out, uh, you'd put a bit of fresh soil in the bottom of your new pot, you'd scrape off around the root ball, loosen up some of the roots because you want some of the roots to go into the new soil, put that in, put it, in, tuck it in, but don't push it too tight because you need air in the soil as well. They need to breathe, let them breathe. So she's really easy to propagate as well. Uh, I mean, she's a bit young at the moment, but you can get roots from a, a stem. So you could take, you know, cut a stem off. If this was too tall, you can cut it down in between the nodes, put that in water and really easy, she'll root and then you can pop it in soil in springtime, spring to the end of summer, put it on the windsill, get the roots, couple of weeks, put it in water, should be fine. Just get into the habit of once a week before you water, get your finger in. Moist? No, I'll leave it. Easier. Do me watering. The next day, I'll check, lift it out, or check in the pot where it locked down to see if there's water in the bottom. If there's any water in the bottom, get rid of it. Doesn't want to be sat in water. Again, it needs oxygen in the soil. Bye! Bye, part two, part two!